It's a business that has grown from the ground up. And just like the plants that inhabit much of the over 400 acres in West Kelowna, Bylands Nursery is continually developing in the hopes of supporting their business as well as the environment. It began in 1992 when a reclamation pond was installed, the first of its kind in BC, to help recycle water from overhead sprinklers. We now have three water recycling ponds and they allow us to reuse about a third of the overhead irrigation that we uh, consume. As a business that consumes quite a bit of water, how yeah. important is it for you to have that? It's really important. I mean, the reality is, is we do use a lot of water here and we are a very high water consumer, so we want to do what we can to, you know, ensure um, our business is safe, but also uh, we're being environmentally responsible and good stewards of our land. This is one of the storm drains that leads into the recycling pond and you were saying they're placed around the property in strategic positions. Yeah, that's right. So we've put them throughout the property where, the, where there's big slopes so that we can capture um, as much of the overhead irrigation as we possibly can. Right now that's about 30%. With overhead sprinklers being one of the main culprits in water consumption, the business has added shutoff valves on many of the heads to ensure the unused land is not being watered. They're also investing significantly in drip irrigation, which is a costly endeavor, but adds significant water saving potential. We have buried lines underneath here, and the nice thing about it is there's no wasted water. So the water is going directly into the plant. I mean, the nice thing about drip irrigation is you can run drip irrigation for uh, you know, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, whereas if it was traditional overhead sprinklers, that's probably running for 30 minutes to an hour. We have an area here where the plants will get basically driven through and they'll get a heavy watering before they go out. How does that help to save water? Well, by giving the plants a really heavy soaking initially, it allows us to not have to water them as heavily uh, once they're on the ground or placed in the area where they're going to be grown. Um, so it's really good for the plants to get that really heavy soaking initially. And by having the water catchment there and the slope, we're able to reuse uh, a significant amount of the water that doesn't hit the plant. You went down to California. Are you kind of constantly kind of doing those trips into areas where they're dealing with water shortages already? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, in, in Canada, we don't, it's, it's not on the forefront like it is in America, in areas, some areas of Florida, some areas of California, especially California, it's all over the news right now. So, um, you know, they're far more advanced than we are with the technology, so we're always trying to see, you know, what we can do to be better and be proactive and, and you know, use water more responsibly. Bylands is, a, is an excellent example of, of uh, being water conscious, recognizing the value of water and what they can do to protect the water of this valley. With close to 4 million plants grown annually, the nursery has many other initiatives aimed at not only reducing water consumption, but also energy savings within their greenhouses, something they hope will continue to develop. Reporting for Go Okanagan on Shaw TV, I'm Brendan Osborne in West Kelowna.